Hello, everyone, and we're going to talk about an interesting topic that I mentioned during my stream. However, um, not everyone might actually believe this, but the AI market is actually hurting crypto. And um, there's a very specific reason why. We already talked about the other reasons, like um, altcoins are dumping. It's because they have no cash inflow and there's a lot of dilution. What do I mean by dilution? I mean, a lot of alts, especially the new ones, have a lot of unlocks and also like a lot of, um, you know, coin airdrops or the VCs have to sell a lot. The newer the coin is, the more vulnerable it is to these kind of things. Because obviously, like many of the coins only debut with 13, 14, 15, even less than 10% of their overall supply out. And of course, uh, once you get less than 10% of your overall supply out, you know, um, you have to, th to dump the rest of the 90% at some time. Like a lot of these coins have 5, 10, 25, even more than 40% um, dilution in the first couple of years. Look at Jasmine, for example. That's why they went from $4 to less than one penny because they had a ton of dilution. And uh, that dilution caused the price to go straight down the drain. So that's not really big of a surprise. But AI is a surprising factor in all of this. And it's because like they're considered in the same industry and investors, especially VCs, don't have infinite amounts of money to invest in things. Now, a lot of VCs actually invested in many of these crypto coins let's say in like Q1 of 2022, because they did invest in a lot of these uh, crypto coins in Q1 of 2022, which kind of happened to be like, you know, the beginning of the bear market. They had enough patience because there wasn't another market that was hot at that time. Crypto, they knew that if they waited a couple of years, many of these coins would probably skyrocket up. But then along comes AI and NVIDIA. And now, People uh, And now uh, VCs are looking at, hey, we need to get some money out of these cryptos that we invest in so we can invest in NVIDIA. And not just NVIDIA, but the AI um, market and stocks. And when I say AI, I don't mean the AI coins, although they will benefit from this. Um, but I mean like the AI stocks, like whether it's NVIDIA, like, you know, ChatGPT or one of the new AI stocks, that is a hotter market right now. And with stocks, it's much easier to gauge because you do have earnings reports and there's a lot more disclosure and it's a lot more transparent than crypto projects, obviously. And right now, the FOMO is in on the stocks because of NVIDIA's unprecedented earnings, NVIDIA becoming like basically the biggest company in the world. So obviously, if you have a lot of money trapped in crypto coins... Um, and you want that money to invest in, uh, you know, these new AI stocks because it's a hotter market. You can get a bigger ROI. At least you think you can. And you don't have the money to invest in AI. What are you going to do? You're going to sell some of those crypto coins. Because remember, when you buy crypto, you didn't really buy into the crypto company for a lot of these guys. You bought a bunch of these coins. So what do they do right now? They are selling these altcoins. And remember, this is not Bitcoin ETF investors or Ethereum or like Ethereum investors. These are generally altcoin investors that invested in various crypto projects about two years ago. And they're wanting the returns right now, not because like that's their limit for patience for an investment, because usually like the, the timeline for VCs is about five years in various projects. But right now they're looking at, hey, there's a huge opportunity in this AI market, we need some of that money out. We can just, you know, sell some of these coins. Um, even though if we sell it at a loss, we want to get in on this other market. So the hotness of the AI market is actually hurting the uh, altcoins market. Um, and it's because like the same type of investors tend to invest in these both of these sectors. They're both risk on investors. These are not the kind of investors that are investing in like money market or funds or bonds right now. These are um, investors that are willing to take risk, but they only have a very, very limited set of money. They can't invest in both crypto and AI. And right now they are choosing to invest AI. So we're still in, we're starting to see some of those flows outside of various crypto projects that were invested in in early 2022 and um, basically flowing into AI stock market prices. So you might actually see that for a while, maybe until later this year 
when the crypto market actually gets hot again. I don't know how much this actually affects meme coin investors because those guys are like trying to make money overnight. And even like smaller AI projects, they're not really trying to make money overnight. If you're like doing a, a VC thing for a small AI project, you're probably going to try to wait a year or two. And being a VC for one of these projects typically involves dropping more than 50 or 100 bucks on these projects. Like many of these projects that require like hundreds of thousands of investment, or at least tens of thousands of investment. So they're not really like the day gen meme gamblers because a lot of those guys like us, we drop like 50 or 100 bucks in this meme coin and hope it goes like, you know, 100x or 200x. That's generally not what VCs do. So like small meme coin investors aren't the same class, but these are the VCs that maybe bought like, you know, millions of like random tokens or like not random tokens, but like millions of like these of a certain crypto token way back two years ago. And they're cashing out on some of that so they can invest in AI shares right now. And because they're the same kind of investor, you know, like draining, it's going to take draining one sector to actually move into another sector. So the AI sector might be booming right now, but it's also siphoning some money out of the crypto sector as well. And that's just how the cycle goes. I'm sure it'll reverse sooner or later, but it might take a while. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.